Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video about how to place this hole using the indexing line, but I added some more holes, and I said in that other video that there's a, another way you could do part of this. So we're just going to select all this. We're going to control D and make a duplicate, and then we're going to mirror it. Now there's two copies. So we can take our Smart Fill tool. I move mine up top. Fill that in. Nudge that out of the way, or move it out of the way. Left click, right click, and now you have those holes on just one copy, and you can see they'll it'll delete. Now if you ever needed to move those holes, we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. You could go and break the curve apart, and then each individual hole is still movable. But this is all one piece now, and the holes are identical to the other thing. And you could do you could do exactly the same thing on the other side. We could do this and put more holes, go up to effects and blend. Let's put like seven, and you'd figure it out whatever spacing you'd wanted, and then. Control D and make a duplicate of this guy, and then mirror it the opposite way. Use your Smart Fill tool, fill it in, and now you have holes equally on all sides. And the same thing, you just go to break curve apart if you wanted them separated. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.